Black Wind King is the second to last boss in chapter one of Black Myth Wukong, and he's no walk in the park. This Yaogwai King, who rules over Black Wind Mountain, wields a double-ended polearm and uses powerful magic, much like Sun Wukong himself. Without any clear weaknesses, this battle will test your skills and abilities to the fullest. You'll encounter the Black Wind King inside the Black Wind Cave, which you'll reach naturally as you progress through chapter one. Fortunately, there's a cave interior keeper's shrine just before the boss fight, giving you a chance to rest and recover your gourd sips. If you haven't already, try to upgrade your gourd to maximize your healing potential before this battle. Preparation is key for this fight. First, thoroughly explore the Black Wind Mountain area to gather resources and upgrade your equipment. You can find valuable NPCs and crafting materials that will help you prepare for the fight. Farming sparks from the local enemies will allow you to craft better armor, which can help you mitigate the damage dealt by the Black Wind King. Some armor sets even provide secondary effects, like additional stamina under certain conditions, which can be extremely useful. One important preparation step before facing the Black Wind King is to defeat the optional boss, Guangxi. By defeating him, you unlock the ability to transform into Guangxi using the Red Tide spell. This transformation is incredibly useful during the fight, as you don't take damage while transformed. Any damage you would take instead reduces the time you can stay in this form. The attacks you can perform while transformed deal significant damage to the Black Wind King, and the transformation also acts as a buffer to recharge your focus points, which you can use for devastating attacks like the Heavy Strike from Smash Stance. Another way to prepare is by unlocking spells in your skill tree using Sparks. Defeating the wolf creatures prowling the caves before the boss is a great way to farm Sparks for upgrades. Make sure to unlock the Immobilize spell as soon as possible, as it can freeze the Black Wind King in place, giving you precious time to land powerful attacks. Now, let's talk strategy. While the Black Wind King doesn't have a ton of health compared to other enemies, he's still a formidable opponent with fast, deadly combos. He uses his spear to strike quickly, making it hard to dodge perfectly. You'll need to stay aggressive to tear through his health during the short windows between his erratic movements. And watch out, he has a gourd similar to yours that he can drink from to heal. When you see him start to heal, keep up the pressure to stagger him and interrupt the healing process. The Black Wind King's most common attack is a spear combo, where he swings his spear three or four times, with the final strike being slightly delayed. Dodge quickly past the first few strikes, then wait a moment before dodging past the last one. At the start of the fight, he'll jump at you from afar, stabbing downward with a thrusting strike as he lands. This is followed by two horizontally slashing swings. Wait until he begins to dive before dodging the first stab, then dodge from side to side to avoid the next two swings. One of his more unique attacks is the Trailing Winds, where he twirls his spear and slashes its point on the ground, creating wind projectiles that travel along the ground and track you as you move. To avoid these, move away from the boss, as each wind projectile vanishes after traveling a short distance. He also has a triple slash combo, where he raises one leg and performs three quick horizontal slashes. Watch for which leg he raises and dodge laterally in the opposite direction, dodging twice more to escape the follow-up strikes. When you get too close, the Black Wind King might quickly take a swig from his gourd before expelling a deadly arc of fire near his front. If you see him reaching for his gourd, dodge backward immediately to avoid the flames. Another devastating move is the Fists of the Wind combo. He starts with a fast elbow strike, then tries to hit you with the butt of his spear before using it as a vault to leap into the air and return to the ground with a heavy fist strike. This combo can kill you from full health, so try to either freeze him with a mobilize or stagger him with a heavy smash stance attack. After swinging his spear from side to side, the Black Wind King may perform a delayed body slam AOE onto the ground, followed by a wide horizontal slash as he gets up. Dodge forward to get behind him before the body slam and stagger him to prevent the last slash. Another dangerous move is the impaling charge, where he kicks at you with his right leg before charging forward with his spear, attempting to impale you. Dodge to the side quickly once you see him charging. One of his most fearsome attacks is Wind King's Fury, where he transforms into a ball of black wind inside a blue orb dashing back and forth within the arena. After three or four dashes, he creates a circle of wind in the middle of the arena that explodes when he returns to his human form. Dodge to one side quickly as the ball of wind tries to hit you during the dash and avoid the center of the arena until the explosion. This move has a long recovery animation, so be sure to punish the boss after the explosion. Finally, the Black Wind King can turn invisible, either appearing to slam down from the sky onto your position or to perform a quick series of three slashing attacks. Dodge to the side as soon as you hear him appear above you, or simply dodge each physical strike from side to side as you would with his other attacks. 
As long as you stay focused and aggressive, this fight shouldn't take too long to master. Taking down this spear-wielding monk will reward you with the Cloud Step spell, 3 yarn, 1049 XP, and 688 will, all of which will be useful as you approach the final boss, Black Bear Guai, of Chapter 1. Anyone who beats the Black Wind King will likely gain a greater understanding of Black Myth, Wukong's complex combat systems as well. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Black Myth, Wukong tips and tricks, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your own strategies. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.